everyone welcome to tech gurukul thank you for watching our videos please do like subscribe share and also press the bell icon so uh, you can receive the notifications please do comment on our videos if you like something if you dislike something if you if you want something to be added or new tutorials to be added you can comment on our videos so let's uh, continue so today we are going to learn about kerberos you must have already seen many tutorials or many uh, you you have already come through this so today we'll just have a like uh, basic overview and architectural uh, design overview how communication happens in kerberos what it is used for so let's see it uh, i'm also adding a video to this uh, whole lot of video series uh, which is already there so so that you may understand uh, this a bit a bit better way okay okay so basically kerberos it's a ticketing based authentication system the way you travel suppose you you have to travel to one place to another place uh, so you don't tell the ticket collector that okay i am this i am that i have this i am that i am having that what you do you just buy a ticket from the uh, station or anywhere and when ticket collectors ask you okay are you authorized to travel or i are you authorized to use this uh, railway service or bus service so what you do you just show them uh, a ticket okay so on seeing that ticket they understand that okay this person is valid and he, he or she is authenticated to travel or like el eligible to travel in this so in the same way Curveros also works on ticketing system it uses key based symmetry key, like it uses key based so what it does so when you have a request okay so when you have a request uh, you send it to the server okay so you, you encrypt it using your password so the password does not travel to the server and when server receives it so the server also has password uh, stored in the database so what it does it try to decrypt your message uh, using the password which it has and if it is able to um, like decrypt it successfully it understands okay the you are you are legitimate user and you are authorized to use these services okay so this eliminates the threat of password stealing via network sniffing so when you send a password in other cases so there there is chance that someone uh, like man in the middle or someone who is sitting in between you and the destination may sniff your password and get that okay so kerberos is largely used for single sign on single sign on or uh, so using using single sign on there is no need to uh, log in or something you just have to have that machine which is uh, which has a valid uh, ticket you, you can automatically uh, log into the system which you intended to so to help provide a secure environment kerberos makes use of mutual mutual authentication so what mutual authentication means so suppose something is mutual when i and you both agrees okay so when uh, so kerberos knows that the user which is trying to access a resources or a server or a service is authenticated is legitimated leg legitimate and also this the service server or resources which the user is or client is trying to access is also uh, authenticated or authentic okay so this uh, at this stops like this uh, prevents man in middle attack or spoofing okay so this is basically works on time it's basically time sensitive so tickets are valid for a specific interval of time so this also helps to uh, to stop hacking or uh, or snooping or anything of that because it it's renew anything and the ticket which you get is valid for a specific period of time so that it cannot be used suppose if someone gets your ticket and so they cannot use forever so they have to regenerate it once after like you have to regenerate it, then it's valid okay and these tickets are uh, renewed uh, basically so basically kerberos is a ticketing based uh, uh, authentication system where password does not travel to the server or to or forth to the client or server and uh, it works on symmetric key uh, encryption so the keys which is used to encrypt is also used to decrypt that the same thing okay 
so this the communication starts when you do k in it so k in it uh, you you run a command k in it so this uh, communication starts so this this basically uh, summarize about the kerberos so let's uh, like uh, continue so basically following are the components of kerberos so client client what a client is like basically you who is trying to access the resources or a system which is trying to access the resources so a, a client can be a user a service or server anything so which is trying to access some resources on um, um, some other location which is on some other location okay so, and, and we have kdc server so this, this is basically key distribution uh, center so this which holds uh, three components so one is authentication server uh, so which authenticates the requests then ticketing granting server which like assigns the tickets which gives the tickets after authentication server on the, is authenticated the request and then we have a database which contains all these information so basically uh, if you want to understand if you want to understand so we have a diagram we'll we'll show you in the next slide so basically in, in brief you have authentication server which authenticates the request whether whether it is legitimate or not it is authentic or not then we have a ticket guarantee server which is responsible for granting a ticket okay uh, and uh, using that ticket the communication happens and then we have a database which stores information about uh, about the user client everything okay and uh, which authentication server refers for getting uh, the details then we have a realm realm is nothing but a domain name kind of thing so suppose if you want if you have a, a lan of if you have a domain name range so and you want uh, the resources to be available to that only so like suppose w like google.com or example.com or any any dot com so that can be a realm so and uh, so suppose and you have a user who, which which user id is something at this dot com okay so that that person is uh, authorized to access the resources we also have um, cross authentication okay so uh, okay so hope you understood the com like uh, components of this so let's uh, now see a few other components then we have a principal so principal is basically used for uh, principal is basically it can be a user it can be a service a principal uh, it's basically uh, entries in authentication server database so a database will have principal suppose a uh, user a user b uh, then we have ftp service or http service so we will have ftp user a at realm.com and it will be stored in the uh, database uh, and Mm, that will be uh, that, that will have different uh, roles for accessing the database so principal is associated with user each user a host service or given realm so it uh, basically you can understand a principal is nothing but but everything that wants to access a resource okay okay and that that's that is uh, authenticated or something then we have ticket okay so ticket is something uh, on which this Kerberos works. So, for authenticity, clients basically deals through tickets. So, it gets this from ticketing, um, ticket granting server. Okay. And then we have encryption. So, basically, um, Kerberos uses encryption because it is a plain text. If travel or network, it will be very easy to guess or very easy to get it and hack or crack it. So basically, everything which travels in in uh, in to or from the server or client, they are uh, it's encrypted form. It's not like uh, decrypted. And these are the mm, different type of encryption mechanism that are supported. So Kerberos four, which is older, had ha, like had supported DES fifty six bit. So it was it's very like uh, old and easy to like very not very easy but easy to guess. So, um, Kerberos 5 has implemented DES and AES keyboard, keys, so which goes from 128 bit to 256 bit. So, this is very, very hard to decrypt it. 
and if someone tries also it will take long time okay so and also we have a salt salt is nothing but uh, suppose every 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 password will be uh, appended to that so suppose we have a user and uh, we have a user and uh, so, and we want to append a specific a specific keyword which is already decided and then we encrypt it so only user and the server will understand the salt and if anyone gets in between they won't be able to decrypt it because uh, it will it won't be straight forward so basically it uses string to key so p user is the user plus user at realm.com so user at realm this can be a salt a salt value or you can have a different salt values and uh, with the same uh, so what it will do it will de encrypt it with uh, with uh, as a whole string then we'll decrypt it and get it back okay so like this it happen like it works so salt is basically one uh, string which is appended to the um, plain password and then it's encrypted and we have a key version number so it, it just says like so how many times when whenever a password is updated so it will have a version number to understand that okay uh, like uh, if it is updated or not we which is the recent password or a key which is updated okay so let's move forward now so uh, this is basic diagram of a Kerberos. so we as you can see and these communication one two three four if you see this two one two this this basically it happens the communication so client is nothing but user client server services which try to access a uh, suppose application server okay so what it does first authentication happens so first client try to authenticate itself uh, with the authentication server so authentication server once it is authenticated so it will uh, then get the ticket from the ticket granting server and hence this database basically has all the details uh, using which uh, this curve server authenticates the user and then once the client has the valid ticket they can easily uh, like communicate with the application server you use the different services okay so let's move forward now okay. so this is the basic communication how it's happened so user user sends the authentication request like what we do we do k in it then uh, it, it basically sends the authentication request to the uh, Kerberos server then uh, Kerberos uh, like uh, authentication service uh, checks if the user exists in the database Kerberos database okay so if it ex exists and it has a valid password it use it sends the ticket granting ticket okay this is not this is not the actual ticket but using this uh, the user will get the actual ticket from the ticket granting service so this basically in the first step basically it authenticates and give a ticket to ticket grant ticket to the user and then user sends request to tgs so it what it does it sends the request to tgs with tgt okay and it these all are encrypted and, and the, the keys are maintained in the Kerberos database um, so okay so users so in the fourth step user sends the request to tgs then TGS checks if user exists in the DB. DB. So again, ticket, it's, it's uh, again, ticket granting service checks if the user exists in the DB. Then if it exists and it is valid, so ticket granting service assigns a ticket to the user and using that ticket, user, user uh, uh, like communicates with the application server or the any service or server which uh, the user wants to access the services okay so this is the basic basic communication how it happens there are a lot of things which happen in between the encryption decryption encryption of the tickets encryption of the fields so we can we can uh, read in detail later so this I'm giving basic architecture design to just to understand, make you understand what are the components, how it happens communication. Okay, so this is the basic flow. So ticket request from the client, a client sends the request for a ticket. Then ticket is sent to KDC, the key distribution center. The service ticket request from the client. Okay, the service request sent to the KDC. The ticket presented to application server. 
once x is like once the application server understand that okay this is a valid ticket then um, okay so basically first is the uh, first two are the tickets for tickets for the user second two are the tickets for the services which user want to access once the kdc validates it and the user can access the resources from the different server okay so this is just to understand like how how it happens in in in, in, in like layman language so suppose shashwat says hi to k uh, hi to kdc like it says ping a message hi i'm i'm, I'm shashwat i i want to access i want access on authentication server or ftp server any other services okay so authentication server to shashwat here is your ticket granting ticket if you aren't shashwat you so authentication server what it does okay so uh, it 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 gives you ticket granting so when 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 you say hi i'm shashwat so basically what you do you encrypts your request with your password okay so that password is also present at authentication server so when you send the request what it does the authentication server sends you a ticket encrypted with your password okay which it has in database so then uh, the shashwat decrypts it and again sends the request to ticket granting server that okay this is tgt ticket granting ticket and i have got it from authentication server can you grant me access to uh, can you give me a service ticket for this service okay then uh, ticket granting server validates the T tgt ticket granting ticket okay and if it is able to and checks the user if it is present in database and it's uh, it's able to decrypt it successfully then it gives the service ticket to the user so client application server service uh, uh, then uh, it gets the service ticket then user again contacts to the, uh, the service server where they want to access the resources and they say okay this is my service ticket can you validate it and uh, give me the service uh, please validate me and give me the uh, access to the services so then the application server or uh, or the server which want to access is authenticate the service ticket and if it is uh, if if it is like uh, correct it's able to uh, authenticate then the user will get the access so basically it works in in, in a way like suppose i'll i'll explain in a uh, small small yeah so give me once okay so we'll explain later so this is the basic request types so client uh, authentication so as is nothing but authentication server so a client sends an authentication server request to authentication server so authentication server checks the user in the database it decrypts the authentication this this request uh, authentication request from uh, the user password which is stored in the database then it sends the authentication response it sends the authentication response of success or failure if it is success it encrypts the authentication uh, tgt uh, ticket granting ticket with user's password again user mm, sends the tgt uh, tgt to tgs uh, for the service request, service ticket so once uh, tgs request is validated at tg uh, ticket granting server so tg uh, ticket granting server uh, sends a service ticket valid service to the client and that service ticket is provided to the application server in order to uh, access the services so basically as request is the authentication server's request as uh, response uh, rep is a uh, authentication server response tgs is ticket ticket granting server request tgs is uh, like uh, ticket granting response a application server request and uh, likewise application server response okay so this is how the basic uh, flow of uh, this car blocks okay so before um, this um, I'll, I'll explain in shorter way so first what happened a client sends a request doing k in it um, to the authentication server okay i want I, i'm a, this user and i am encrypting uh, this request using my password you have my password please try to decrypt it using that if uh, if i am valid user you will be able to do it so uh, that request reaches to authentication server 
authentication server try to decrypt that request using the user password which the user says suppose a user is a so it will look for a user in the database and get the password for that and try to decrypt the request for uh, from that password if it is able to decrypt that request using that it sends a ticket granting ticket to the user using uh, and it encrypts that with the user password okay so uh, it, uh, the user gets it so uh, again uh, so it is the the response which it got from or tgt ticket granting ticket which it got from the authentication server it decrypts it with each password it is decrypted by the user password if it is successful then again uh, the user sends that tgt request to the ticket granting server and again ticket granting servers try to decrypt it uh, look for that user and try to decrypt it with the key uh, that of that user if it is able to decrypt it like ticket granting server able to uh, decrypt the request from that user it again sends the valid ticket uh, which is valid for eight hours or that we can define um, eight hours to the client so that is a service ticket so once the client gets the service valid service ticket the client present that service ticket to the server resources which uh, they want to access so and then the uh, the uh, the authentic server which uh, holds uh, holds the resources they have the valid key and they decrypt the user uh, service ticket with the service key uh, and if they are able to do it they act grant access to the user for accessing the service so this is the basic uh, flow of a cargos how it works and there are a lot of things which is inside this is a big topic i just wanted to share you like basic how the flow happens what is the architecture what are the different components so, so in order to make you understand okay so you can read more on this if you want or i will also try to make like a, a, a complete video on this so thank you for watching please support us and do do like subscribe um, comment on our videos if you like it also comment if you don't like it please do comment let me know how i can improve how how i can improve my videos if you have something if you want to write you can write it on the way the gmail.com so thank you for watching tech guru full let's learn together thanks bye take care Thank you.